Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to uh, to Larry's guide of of how to survive on Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, it's gonna be, uh, this guide is gonna be like a few steps and it's also for some people that, you know, doesn't want to fight any other players and just, you know, only fight players if you have to and not wanting to, just, you know, want to just have fun and just drive around and do other things and and be like a pacifist and pacifist until uh, unless if you really need to fight um so yeah i'll show you guys how to survive um with these couple easy steps um so yeah um yeah i have my um i have my um headphones off right now because because um I don't want to hear all the chit chatter uh, for for right now, but I am gonna put them back on soon. So yeah, um, let me just go in right here. Okay, so, um, as you see, uh, hold on, All right. okay, so, yeah. So, as you can see, uh, my character, my uh, GGA. Uh, hold on. Hello. Go away, Luster. <laughs> okay. So, as I was saying, um, so yeah, as you see, my character is basically based off my drawing of Centauri, Cy Cyclone Centauri. Um, she doesn't have her uh, beret in her hair, so that's how you can't uh, tell who she is because she doesn't have a beret in her hair, or she's not wearing her, um, you know, perfect uh, outfit that I drew for her. But I don't know how to mod things on GGA, so yeah. Um, so uh, let's get out of the garage first. First things first, let's get out of the garage. Make sure the radio's off, <laughs> so I don't get flagged. Okay, so uh, step one. For, so step one, how to survive, is basically go over here where you cannot be seen at all. And then you can um, access your map all you want. Go away to hide. And another another way how to know how to survive is basically you see all the players down here. This is basically the city, and there's like a bunch of players in the city, and these these players have a choice to kill you or not kill you. It's it's a thing. And uh, so yeah, and the perfect place to be, if you don't want to, you know, fight anyone, is basically be over here, um, in Sandy Shores, because there's not a lot of population. Okay, what's this? Oh. Okay, that's nothing. That's nothing you should worry about. So, yeah, as I was saying, over here you're basically a little bit much safer because not a lot of players um, spend their time over here. They mostly spend their time in the city, so which means you just, you know, got to, so which means you got to uh, stay, uh, ah!
And you gotta also watch out for snipers too. That's another thing. So for Okay. So as I was saying, I'm staying around here because I don't want to get killed again. So as I was saying, um it's easier to stay down here in uh the desert area where you know where Trevor Phillips where Tre Trevor Phillips live in because you know there's not a lot of players there and you won't be easily killed as as much I mean you're still going to be killed by other players you're still going to be killed by other players uh if they have because they have a choice to kill you or not if they wanted to they they would but like I'm saying I'm going to stay outside of the open and I'm going to stay here because that guy is still there and I don't feel like getting killed. Yeah, he's yeah, I'm surrounded. So when you get surrounded by people like that, you hurry up, get to your car as fast as you can, and you get the hell out of there. So that way you know. And it's better if you keep your uh, lights off too, so they see? One of them shot at you. Okay, so if you can see on your map, the guy is still, you know, looking around, trying to look for you. Okay, he's dead. Okay, so we're technically safe right now, for just right now. But, so, yeah. Um, so, the, better, the best bet is to stay up here. Um, not in this spot, but you know what I mean. Like, around this area. Because in this area, it'd be a whole lot safer. And now I'm going to have to try to get the f get the hell out of here. Because I don't feel like getting killed. So yeah, so... So, um... The best bet of being a pacifist so that way you don't have to fight other players is basically you know stay away from them as much as you can um, which means uh, like a lot of running away and stuff and if you don't know and um, yeah now that guy left so we're basically safe here for now and then um, your best bet is always have your garage or home base in this area as well so that way you don't have to keep on constantly going down to the city. Only time you should go to the city is when you have to. Um, when you really have to. And if not, then you just go to the city because you want to. There's a good chance for you to get yourself uh, scoped, exploded, stabbed, dev, killed, shot, etc. So, yeah. And so, um, yeah, so, uh, Step one of uh, staying safe is, you know, stay in the desert area. I told you, that those were players for, for a minute, but no, those are AIs. I'll let these AIs go. So, yeah. Just, you know, just stay up here and stay away from the city. Just basically like a, uh, a zombie apocalypse, in a way. Now, uh, step two. If you really, if you really want to survive, don't do any challenges that will get yourself killed. Unless if you really want to, you have a choice not to do these challenges, like this one. This challenge is over with, but this challenge you didn't really have to worry about because because it, because it's not really uh, about killing anyone. But now, if you if there was a challenge that you know had to you know that you had to kill uh, every single player like a last man standing you go over here or where there's no population at all so technically you have to go up to the mountains excuse me by the way sorry about that um, so yeah just keep on driving and when and also, when there's a guy hanging out in your garage, stay away from your garage. 
it's the best bet to, uh, to make sure you guys stay alive. Because if there's a player staying by your garage, it's a good way he'll no scope you or explode you. So, you gotta, you know, stay away from your garage until that person leaves. Or he tries to, or he tries to find you. And that's the reason why you sometimes have to keep on going. So technically step two of my guide of staying alive and online is basically is basically just keep on moving. That's a, that's another that's another way to how to survive. It's basically just like a zombie apocalypse. You gotta keep on moving to, to, to survive. No question asked. <laughs> so technically this is actually a good place to hide sometimes. Uh, from any other player, you just go up here. Okay, just park your car here. Get out. Get to the highest part of the mountain. If you can. Okay, so apparently, if you can't get up to the mountain because of stupid game physics you could just go like this way on the mountain so you just go up to the mountain and this hit does hide up here for a while until that challenge is over with so that way no player tries to kill you for that challenge you can you can usually get up there in the highest point it doesn't really matter how high you get you go it just um, all depends. You, this is just, just you gotta get up here and stay away from any players that has ground vehicles and stuff. And now, if you're if there's a bunch of players with helicopters and stuff, I would say your best bet would be your your home base or your home garage or anywhere there's cover. That's another way to survive. So that's part two. Now part three. How to survive is basically. Let me get back to my car. Is basically if you if you really want to uh, make money, you can also sell your cars and stuff to to you know make money. So you just go over here, and if you if and. There's also other ways to earn money too. Is basically you could like get your own, get yourself a um, a an, ambushing place. Just get yourself like a, a nice ambushing uh, area. Just like uh, my favorite place is the tunnel by the freeway. There's a tunnel by the freeway that go underneath the underneath the streets and stuff. So when you go underneath the streets and you, there's a tunnel, you could easily stop uh, at will stop semi drivers, kick kick their trucks, to run after you, grab a melee weapon and kill them, and then boom. Uh there's there's the money right there. And then when the cops come, so you just hurry up and run into the mines or, or tunnels and the cops won't be able to get you. Just keep on moving, you know? So yeah. That's another way to do it. But uh this way do it. But if but like I said, if you want to be like a pacifist and don't want to kill anyone, this is the best way to earn money. Even though even though you only have you only can sell cars um, basically once a day. I mean, yeah, it's gonna take a long time to earn a lot of money to do it. But but hey, if you don't want to kill anybody, you're not really you're not really hurting anyone. You're just you know selling your cars and 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 stuff. You're not really trying to kill anyone, you're not trying to hurt anyone, so yeah. That's, uh. We're gonna turn the lights back on now, so. There's no one around. Um, I'm just sometimes self conscious with my lights because, you know, online players really try to look for your lights and. Also try to look for your, uh. For your uh, game gaming tag too, so that's another thing you have to watch out for. And then uh, when you're um, when you're about to sell your car, the best way to sell your car is 
like, like, um, make sure you don't get too much damage on your car so that way you don't have to spend too much to fix it. That's another way to do it. So, uh, yeah. Just keep on going until you get to your destination. And I like I like going this way instead of using freeways because you know freeway and on freeways you're too much out in the open and and you know the players the players will uh, will uh, will use their uh, rocket launchers and shotguns and sniper rifles to kill you. So yeah. Um. Ah, oh. are you serious? <sighs> Sorry about that. My uh, my Wi-Fi isn't really working too well, so it booted me off the damn uh, damn online thing. So, as I was saying, yeah. So if you if you want to. You know, earn some money without fighting anyone. You could you could just easily go and sell your cars. All right. Okay, sweet. There's not there's not too many players around this area. Cool. So yeah. So as I was saying. Uh, so when you go sell your car, it's uh, very, it's highly important that you, uh, that you uh, basically try not to get your car damaged too much, because if you get your car damaged very a lot, you're, you're not gonna earn a lot of money from selling your car. So uh, yeah, you gotta make sure your car is in really good shape before you sell it. Even uh, so, which means you're going to have to drive like a little cautiously, in a way. Even though that does seem a little boring. Uh, well, we don't have to drive cautiously. Cautiously, just try, just try to make sure you don't hit anything, <laughs> including people. Because if you hit people, um, it'll it'll wreck your car too. So, because um, because they'll you know break your light bulbs and stuff and your headlights. All that stuff. Just like it's like hitting deer, in a way. So uh, yeah. Uh, so if you like, but there's also another way to earn a lot of money too. Is like you could rob a store too. That's technically being a pacifist as well. As long as you, as long as you don't kill the guy. As long as you don't kill the cashier, unless if you really have to. Um. You just you know hold a gun to him and make him uh, give you the give you the money and stuff and he'll give it to you. That's another way to make your money too without fighting any um, any anybody. So because all you're doing is just you know all you're doing is just starting the guy with the gun. So technically you're really not going to shoot him. So yeah. And then there's an um, I'll tell you uh, more after I sell this car. Now go away, Brawny. Alright. We're almost there. And also, when you're driving like this, you also gotta be careful with the, with the, uh, with the AI drivers too, because they drive very, very similar like the people in the real world. Alright. Here we are. Just here for the magic touch. So for three thousand, yeah, I'll sell it for three thousand. Confirm. 
confirm. Mark our sold, and there you go. Um, now um, we gotta hurry up, and uh, now we're going to have to hurry up and put the stuff in the ATM. There you go. Okay. Deposit. It's a better. It's a good. It's the best way is to deposit all your money into the bank, so that way no one tries to steal it after they kill you. So that way, you know, you can still keep it. Um. And that's basically all I'm gonna put put in. All right. So. There's another, there's another thing too, to make sure you survive too, is um, you go to the gun store, on. you go to the gun store, and you buy more ammunition, Hello. go away Lester, so you just go to the gun store, I mean, because because you're gonna need your guns in order to survive. I mean, no questions asked. Because you know, with the players on your tail and stuff, they'll, there's always gonna be a player trying to kill you. So you're gonna need a weapon on you all, at all times. No question asked. I met this girl last night. She was like, and then, wow, um, you're actually cute as a kitty, kind of surprised. Go over here. Um, go to your pistol. There you go. It's full clipped. Now we go to the over here because that's a, that's all I got. Full uh, full clip on this one. There you go. And that's it. Because I only have two guns. Because I don't have enough money to buy more guns. So yeah, I'm trying to save. I'm trying to save some of my money for other things like a new house. Because that garage is never really cutting for me. I want, I'm, I basically wanted to have like a house and a garage. So, um, yeah. So, but I am going to show you more, more things. As you can see, there's not a lot of players here. So, we're basically safe. And, uh, this challenge is just a, it's just a, it's just a, fall, the fall, the longest challenge without dying. So that, that challenge is pretty harmless, so you don't have to worry about any players trying to kill you from this. But uh, yeah. Uh, I gotta get a drink. Whew. Man, my voice is starting to my voice is starting to get raspy a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah. And then um That's basically it for that's basically it, like, and also, uh, another way to survive is basically, you know, just keep on moving, don't stop, and just like I said, if you want to just be like a pacifist, like, like the way I usually do it on GTA Online, just, you know, have fun and, you know, chat with your friends and just, you know, play around with cars, if you just want to, like, you know, play around with cars and stuff, there's just basically what you should do just you know just remember just remember stay away from the big city stay away from heavy popular areas um, just keep on going without stopping if you manage to stop make sure there's no players around your area and then um, if there's any planes in the area just make sure you go in like a tunnel like this you'll be safe um, if there's any like you know killing challenges, just go up in the mountains and stay away from the, and then stay away from the ground vehicles and other people, and then, and then after that, uh, if you if there was a person that's trying to kill you, by all means kill him back, shoot him back. But, I mean you don't have to kill him, but just shoot back and start running away. And that's basically how you, how you basically can survive from getting killed by these players. So yeah, um, stay away from big cities. 
uh, sell your cars for money even though you can only sell them uh, once a day steal money from the, from uh, from stores uh, to uh, bounty hunting jobs or unless if you really want to you can just go and kill people for for your job and stuff I mean I'm just I'm just like just letting you know if you want to be a pacifist just you know not fight fight anyone just you know just drive around and have fun just you know stay away from heavy areas and you'll be just fine and make sure there's not like a lot of people around you either so yeah and another way and another rule is also don't talk trash to anybody that's online because if you talk trash to, any, to a person online they're going to try to find your name tag and kill you either that they're going to report you either or still bad so yeah um, but even though I have basically uh, only uh, even though I have only two guns I still have uh, meleeing weapons Hold on right here I have a knife a bat a machete and this I got this from a uh, from a treasure hunting thing. Apparently, when you use this, it will unlock your rage. But first thing first, you gotta find a target. I mean, this this goes against my rules of pa being a pacifist because we're going to actually kill someone. But still, um, but still, like I said, if you want to be a pacifist and not kill anyone, just follow my rules. I'm only just doing this so I can show you my wicked ass, my my um. My yeah, not ass. Ugh. My wicked axe. There you go. Just watch. I'm gonna open up my rage in three, two, one. If you hear that, That's how you un that's basically how do you unlock your uh, rage with this axe. So So yeah. Um apparently you can also unlock some stuff from uh Resin uh yeah, Resident Evil. From uh uh shit, what do you call that game again? Oh Red 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 Redemption. Yeah, Red Redemption 2, you can unlock some stuff from Red, Red Redemption 2 on this, uh, online, so you get more stuff, which is really cool. So, yeah. But still, right now, right now, I just kill a guy because I just want to show you my axe. But, uh, so yeah. But, um, as I was saying, if you don't want to kill anyone, if you want to just, you know, do what I do, just... Drive your cars around and wreck them if you want. I mean, you know, just keep on wrecking cars and stuff and for fun and other stuff. You know, something that's not really harm, something that's very harmless. Because you're not really hurting anyone. Oh, I gotta go. I hear beeping. Yep. We got a player in sight somewhere. I don't know where he's at. He's somewhere though. Now, when you hear it beeping like that, that's when you gotta get going. Cause that's when you know there's a there's a player, there's a player with a rocket launcher or a player that has a uh, that has a uh, a jet or something. And that's when you gotta keep on going. When you hear something like that, you just keep on going and don't stop until uh, until you know it's safe. And now when you think it's safe, when you know it's safe, there's a difference. So, yeah. I know it's not safe to do this right now, but I gotta do it. Alright. So, um, yeah. That's basically it. So, um... So yeah, that's how you be a pacifist in an uh, in online Grand Theft Auto and surviving. So um, yeah, if you uh, if you like this video and if you learned something, please 
put a like. And if, if you have any questions or concerns, please comment down here below. And if you want to see more of my videos in the future, please subscribe. This is Larry, and I'm out.